Hello, Curious! Supatra Sasufan from Thailand has officially been hailed as the hairiest girl in the world, and due to her mysterious ailment, she has been challenged and persecuted more than once, and her appearance has been compared to a wolf or a monkey. However, contrary to appearance, her family life is not a series of misfortunes and constant depression at all, because the young Asian woman found the positive side of the whole situation, and she never even complained about it. So what did Supatra gain from the werewolf syndrome that she was born with and how is it possible that she began to consider her lush body hair as her value? But also what prompted her to get rid of it one day? And why is her disease one of the most mysterious medical cases and is there any chance of a cure? Stay with us to find out all the latest news about the wolf girl. But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Supatra Sasufan was born on August 5th of 1999, and that is a day her parents will not forget for the rest of their lives. For when their daughter appeared in this world, the joy at the birth of the child was no less than a shock and disbelief. From the first days of her life, the girl was heavily covered with hair that densely covered almost the entire body. Doctors were also shocked by her appearance and the hospital in Bangkok where she was born in, it was the first time that they had encountered such a case. However, this was not the only cause for concern because the child also had problems with breathing, so it was kept in an incubator for a long time and also had to undergo major surgery on the nose, the holes of which were almost completely fused together. And actually, only nine months after birth, little Supatra was able to leave the hospital, although it is also worth mentioning that earlier doctors did not want to let her mother go home as well because they were afraid that the woman would abandon her daughter because of their mysterious disease. The child's parents, however, never planned to do something like that and told the medics that they would not leave the girl no matter what. Anyways, later when she was growing up, they made sure that she never felt inferior to others and were not ashamed of her different appearance. It was not easy, however, as almost every person was stunned by the sight of the child covered with hair all over herself. So for example, when Sasufan's neighbors first saw their new family member, they felt that little Supatra's parents must have committed some serious sin by which their child was born with such an illness. However, more worries about it were yet to emerge. The real difficulties came when the girl went to school and as you can easily guess, she immediately aroused great interest. More precisely, the kids did not spare her and she became the object of mockery and was simply called a wolf or a monkey face. At the time, tears poured down from Supatra's eyes more than once, especially since she could not understand why she was being ridiculed so much. She thought of herself as a perfectly normal girl who just had more hair than others, and this attitude that she gained only thanks to her parents, who raised her like any normal child. And it was also thanks to them that she managed to survive the most difficult moments at school. Although the fact that the girl always tried to be cheerful towards the world was also helpful. She was outgoing, did not avoid people, and therefore she gained more and more friends among her peers. Also in her hometown, she was accepted by the local community. Most people stopped looking at her as a freak of nature and treated her more often as one of the nicest children in the world. And thus the young Supatra did not share the fate of other people who suffer from werewolf syndrome like herself who usually struggle with social exclusion. You will learn a little bit more about this mysterious disease in a moment, but before we move on to this topic, we must mention an exceptionally breakthrough moment in the girl's life. The thick hair that covered her face, ears, arms, legs, and back became the reason to award her the title of the most hairiest girl in the world and to be entered into the Guinness Book of World Records. Although many people thought it would be too much to be proud of, after all, not everyone would like to show off such facial hair to the whole world. But for Supatra Sasufan, it was not a cause of shame. The young Thai girl was even happy with the record because it helped her become extremely popular and at the age of only 12. Therefore, in one of the interviews she confessed and we quote here, I'm very glad that I found myself in the Guinness Book of World Records and it's a very pleasant feeling. Other people are working hard to get there and I was entered without any effort. Thanks to the record, the girl even started to treat her ailment as kind of a value and at this point we will also tell you a bit more about her atypical disease. And this is called a werewolf syndrome, although you may also come across the term hypertrichosis or Ambrassis syndrome. And this is an extremely rare disorder that has been known for a long time and was first described in the 17th century and at the same time giving rise to an amazing story about people who are a combination of human and animal. Perhaps the most popular case of werewolf syndrome at the time was a man named Petrus Gonsalves, whose story can be seen by watching one of our earlier episodes. And we're not only talking about his tragic fate, but also how he became the inspiration for one of the most famous Disney animations, the fairy tale The Beauty and the Beast. 
Hypertrichosis has also inspired other filmmakers as exemplified by the production Lioness, which can be seen on Netflix, and the story shown by the reminiscent fate of Supatra Sasufan. But coming back to our topic, which is the disease that contributes to excessive body hair, it is worth mentioning that it is most often caused by genetic mutations and does not have to be inherited by the parents. Since it occurs extremely sporadically, and there are now about 50 cases worldwide, no effective cure to prevent it has yet been found. The only salvation for sick people may be aesthetic medicine, which often offers treatments to remove excessive hair, and Supatra Sasufan also decided to use this possibility. But we must also say, what were the reasons for her decision? After all, as we said earlier, the girl completely accepted her image, and accepted the difference, and was proud to be the most hairiest female representative in the world. So why did she suddenly decide to have her hair removed? Well, it's all because of love. When she was 17, a handsome young man stood in her way, and their acquaintance began with a friendship, and as time passed, the couple began to date. However, this is not the end of their romantic story because after several years of being together, they also stood on the wedding altar, and finding love for the rest of their life has resulted in Supatra's decision to remove unwanted hair from the body, especially from her face. This information was also so eagerly shared on her social media and although this way she stopped being the most hairiest girl in the world, it does not mean that she lost her popularity. From her Facebook account, we can find out that she now leads a happy life living with her husband near her hometown, and she also dreams of finding a job in which she'll be able to help other people. She also does not plan on to return to her previous image, although she points out that in the case of her disease, it is impossible to permanently remove the hair that grows on her, therefore she has to repeat the depilation treatments regularly. Supatra Sasufan is also one of those people who turn their disease into success and extraordinary popularity. The werewolf syndrome, which usually causes a reduction in value and even in the loss of will to live in the life of patients. So fortunately for our girl, it did not become an obstacle to maintaining a positive attitude or even finding love. Her story may be an inspiration for others. And we have already told you on our channel several times about such unique people. Like in one of our episodes, we met Shane Burkaw, who has been in a wheelchair since he was a child. And that didn't stop him from making an insane career on social media and finding a life mate. And in our next episode, we can also talk about Matthias Buchinger, a man born without legs and arms, who nevertheless became a genius inventor, talented calligrapher, and heartbreaker. You can check out those videos by clicking on the links above, which are appearing now. But before clicking on them, let us know if you have ever heard of a disease such as the werewolf syndrome. Would you like to see more episodes on such unusual diseases on our channel? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. See you guys next time!